What's up, guys? Gemma here, and back again for another video about the beautiful Nintendo Switch. And today, I want to talk to you guys about the Pro Controller um, versus the kind of Joy-Con Grip Controller. Numerous names floating around for this, but we're going to go with Joy-Con Grip Controller. Now, we're going to be looking at some basic things around ergonomics. Um, had a good session on Breath of the Wild yesterday. I played about six hours, three a piece, and got a you know little bits to say, but I'm interested to see what you guys have to say based on your experiences of using both of these. Now, just kind of interestingly, in terms of kind of battery life, I just I'm just gonna pop this down here so we don't drop it. And um, with the kind of the basic charging grip with the with the Joy-Cons, you can get a USB charging grip. I don't have that. Um, so this is just the kind of, this is literally just the, um, the kind of shell uh, that the, the Joy-Con slot into to formulate the controller, but you can get the charging, um, so I can't kind of comment on that, uh, but if you do have the charging grip for the Joy-Cons, definitely let me know how it pans out. Additionally, I'm going to throw in some additional piece of information here, there have been some issues with the left Joy-Con, which we're going to talk about very, very shortly, and I'm going to give you guys a simple fix. Um, but we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about it. Um, you may have already updated your Switch, in which case there's another minor fix that's a, a workaround if you're having problems with the left Joy-Con signal. So we're going to talk about ergonomics. We're going to talk about how it kind of how the ergonomics affect the gameplay, particularly on Breath of the Wild. I haven't tried this on any other game, although we did, you know, just did pick up Bomberman. So let's take a look. Then we're going to come back and make some final conclusions. And as ever. Tweet me your pictures of your Switch bundles, tag me on Instagram, social media links on the screen now. Guys, let's take a look and then we'll come back. So here we go then guys, we've got the Joy-Con controller here as well as the Pro controller. Now, I'm going to talk about the Joy-Con controller before we come to the Pro, so let's just move this back towards good old Luigi right there, if you can pick this up. Um, so my initial thoughts um, are around the kind of ergonomics. Now when you take this out of the box and you mount it on the... Um, the controller mount, the Joy-Cons, it does feel really, really ergonomic. These two kind of hold, um, kind of handles here, if you would, feel really, really nice. There's nothing, there's there's no alternate texture about them whatsoever. They match the middle panel, this middle black panel here, which is a matte finish. So feels really nice, feels really, really nice. And this was the first controller I used when I played Breath of the Wild yesterday. I had about a six hour gaming session and tried to kind of balance it out with three and three hours. Now, What's what's interesting with, with, with this is it, it it becomes a little bit uncomfortable quite early on, which is a bit of a shame. Um, you know, especially if you didn't buy the Pro Controller and you're relying on this as your primary controller, it does feel a little bit. I don't know. If you look at the, the it's square. Okay, so it's 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 kind of like you're holding a square, and it did cause some issues. Um, also, there's been a little bit of a glitch with the left Joy-Con that some <coughs> excuse me some players were experiencing. What's actually happening is this is losing signal um, and it kind of like you, you say if you're like on Breath of the Wild and you're moving, you're, you, you're just going basically, you're going forward and you want to stop the action so you release the, uh, the joystick. Link will continue to go forward as this sticks on. It's a signal issue. Um, it's caused quite a lot of issues and the way around it is when you put the switch, when you kind of turn it on for the first time, you need to make sure both Joy-Cons are mounted onto the, uh, onto the shield when you do the update. I didn't do that, so I have to wait for the next update. Um, but if you if if you kind of if you if you're like me and you can't you can't you know you can't update your switch again until the next update, what you simply need to do is sit a little bit closer to the switch. And that should rectify the issue of the left Joy-Con losing its signal. Now that to me was a bit of a faff. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm just gonna say that now. That was a real faff, but nonetheless, if that wasn't an issue, I still think that this is in about a 6.7 out of 10 for comfort, 6.7 out of 10 for accessibility, playing, you know, it's, it's, it's a good thing to have. Another little downside to it is the shoulder buttons. I'm going to pick on the shoulder buttons more than anything else. You guys can see they're pretty darn thin compared to the Pro Controller, and on Breath of the Wild in particular, you use the shoulder buttons a lot. You want something that's a little bit more tangible, a little bit more easy to access. Uh, but nonetheless, it's it's not all bad. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. I really do like the way it instantly feels. I like the way 
Uh, the buttons kind of, the, I don't know, this, this is a nice clicky kind of sound to them. Um, it really is quite a satisfying controller to use, but definitely the name is within the Pro Controller. It is a Pro Controller, it feels Pro, it feels a hell of a lot more Pro compared to this. And we're going to take a bit more of a look at that right now. So straight off the bat then, the Pro Controller is obviously more ergonomic, it's a hell of a lot more comfortable to use, so for those longer gameplay sessions you're definitely going to want to consider a Pro Controller. Another thing that I really like is the buttons are so much bigger, which do make for slightly more responsive gameplay, particularly on the shoulder buttons, as well as the analogue um, buttons, uh, the analogue sticks buttons, whatever you want to call them. Um, definitely, definitely worth uh, picking it up. The downside is it's very pricey, it is $64.99 here in the United Kingdom. Um, and whatever the dollar conversion is and um, the euro ver um, conversion is, it is a lot more expensive um, because obviously this thing is free. I say free, it comes with it comes with the switch. We don't incur any additional charges. Um, so I think you know if you're not picking up the Pro Control, then definitely this is a, a natural bonus. Um, but if for those kind of more hardcore gameplay um, players out there, definitely, definitely consider picking up the Pro Controller. It's just a ton more responsive. Um, I really like as well that this has on the on the kind of handles here. There is a bit more of a there's, there's like a bit of a texture. Um, so it does feel I don't know I can't explain it like a little bit more tangible um, and it, a lot more comfortable to hold. Um, doesn't kind of slip out of your hand as easy. I was actually dropping the Joy-Con controllers quite a lot yesterday whereas this it just feels a little bit more solid a little bit like an xbox one controller i think is the best comparison um, all the buttons are exactly the same in terms of their functionality it is literally just the kind of size the comfort um, again if you're in longer kind of gameplay sessions something like breath of the wild this is an absolute must so let's just kind of conclude then guys, the beautiful, beautiful Joy-Con classic grip controller and the Pro Controller, obviously this is a hell of a lot more ergonomic, so if you're the kind of player that's going to be playing for hours upon hours at a time, like most of us were yesterday, this is definitely going to be the controller for you. It is a bit of a downside on price, it's £65 as I said, but this is obviously a free piece of kit or a bundled, you know, pre-packaged with the Nintendo Switch. It does what it says on the tin, it is a nice controller, it is slightly smaller, the shape obviously varies, it's square and a classic controller style. You know, if you're an Xbox One user then you, you get a rough idea as to the ergonomic feel of the Pro Controller, whereas this can become uncomfortable around the two and a half hour mark. It just depends, you know, I was literally kind of having to like move my hands and arms around a little bit, whereas this just gave me so much more comfort. So definitely on a comfort, this is the controller you're gonna want. In terms of aesthetics, well obviously, I've got the nice kind of colored, um, I've got the blue and the flashy pink or red, whatever you want to call it. Salmon pink I would go. So I think aesthetically this looks prettier, but if you've got the black mat um, or the grey, this kind of cold grey, whatever you want to call it again, uh, switch, then it's gonna, gonna, obviously going to look a bit duller, but again it doesn't really matter so long as it performs well, this is, you know, it, it doesn't really matter. Button wise this kills it hands down, um, I was kind of like pressing the wrong buttons at times on this, this is much better and the, the, um, the um, analogue analog sticks feel so much more easy and user friendly to use than this. But I think you know what this this we shouldn't we shouldn't neglect the, we shouldn't neglect the Joy-Con controller. It's still very valid. I might get the USB uh, controllers. Um, sorry, the, the mount because I think that is going to come in handy further down the line. And I'm hoping for a, an imminent update so I can fix the um, the issue with this. It is it's, if I kind of sit back on my sofa, it's a hell of a lot more noticeable than if I sit forward. If I sit forward and I'm closer, as I said you know, as the second workaround. If you sit that bit closer to the switch, you won't have the problem. So just be mindful of that, guys. Uh, but definitely, this is a neat little thing. I'd probably give this about, you know, 6.9 for comfort and all around ease of use. Compared to this, I would go at the minute, a classic nine, absolute solid. Feels really nice. I think weight-wise, this is a few grams heavier, uh, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, but nonetheless, guys, I just wanna say, let me know what you think in the comments and just to say again thank you very much for watching if you want to add anything to this video again smash your comment below it's nice to hear your feedback tweet me tag me on instagram um, and just kind of keep me up to date with how your switch experience is going and guys hit that subscribe button stay up to date i just want to say thanks for watching my name's jenna take care guys see you soon